Oh, thanks, guys. Now it's out with the old and in with the new. Of course, the change of the season, spring is in the air, and it's got us all a little bit inspired. And so the team decided to uh, give our Espresso Lounge a knockout new look. Take a look. I think we've all had that moment where we sat at home and daydreamed about adding a splash of colour to a wall and transforming it. But starting a paint project from start to finish can be daunting and we often put off the idea entirely. Today I want to show you how repainting a wall can be super easy and fun and I have my own project right here in the Espresso Studio. Dylan Tomage is an independent curator with years of experience in interior design and that's why I've asked him in combination with Durham Smart Paint to give the studio a knockout new look. Hey Dylan. Hey Zoe, how you doing? Good, I'm so excited to work with you and we have such a fun project to embark on. I think it's time we get rid of this yellow wall, give it a fresh coat of paint and really transform the space. The team from Durham Smart Paint, they've given us everything that we need and I cannot wait to get started and to hear what you have planned for us. So when taking on a painting project like this, people need to understand what paint they want to use and what color they want to use. So what matters is we need to prep the space first, but what we need to do is consider what furniture we put it into the space first. So let me see, what have you got planned? Ooh, look at that couch. Oh, this furniture is so beautiful. I think the team's gonna love this, and I know we have a lot to get through, so what's our first step? So the, other than prepping the wall, we need to remove all the furniture. Okay, let's start. As well as the furniture, you also want to protect the floors. Then there's the matter of taking shelves off the wall, filling any holes or cracks there may be, remove any contaminants, wipe down the walls, and allow to dry. Ah, look at this clean space. It's incredible. Now that all the furniture's out and we've prepared the wall, it's important that we need to make sure that the walls are really smooth before we actually add our primer to the walls. Now you mentioned primer. What is the purpose of a primer? So the purpose of a primer in an undercoat is to ensure the adhesion of the paint that we're going to be utilising on these walls. And by applying the primer in the undercoat, it also allows for the colour to last longer within the space. I had no idea that surface preparation was this important. It really is that important. And for this wall, we're going to be using the Durham Universal Undercoat to obliterate this colour. Can we start? Yes, please. OK. Depending on your wall surface, use the most appropriate primer. Durham's range includes a plaster primer, ideal for new plaster, fibre cement, concrete and composite boards. Universal Undercoat for primed or previously painted surfaces, or wood primer for most types of wood. Dylan, this is my favorite part, picking the colors. So sorry, before we actually choose the color, we need to consider the space. This is a studio, there's lots of traffic, the lights are really bright. So I do recommend that we use Durham's classic matte paint from their platinum collection. It is luxurious with a smooth matte undertone. It is washable and you can use it in a lot of high density areas. So sorry, I really think that this is the one that we should be using. This is a busy studio and keeping everything in mind what you've just said, what do you think of a sage green for the space? I love that, but I think we should be using a colour by the name of Dusty Loden. I really like that. And then maybe to team that up, which is slightly more bolder, we could potentially use the Provincial Park. Wow, I love what you've suggested. In fact, I never thought we should go for the Provincial Park, but I really like these suggestions. Luckily, I don't have to choose now. We still have some time to come down to that. But how about we get started? Let's do it. It's time to get rid of this yellow wall. It really is time, Zoe. Ensure areas not to be coated, such as skirting boards, light switches or plug covers, have been masked off to protect them before painting. Once that's done, your wall is ready to be prepped with the right primer or undercoat that will ensure a long-lasting finish for your top coat. Our prep work is done. This place looks so different already. Can we finally start painting? Yes, we can. So what we need to do is we need to open up the Durham Universal Undercoat, give it a good stir, and then pour it into the tray, and then get started with our paint brush. So Zoe, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pour the Durham Universal Undercoat into the tray and get started. OK, cool. Let's do that. Zoe, are you ready to give this a go? Yes, let's do it. I am wearing black, right? So it's a fantastic <laughs> colour. All right. Let's go. OK. This is so much fun. I can do this all day. Isn't it just so soothing, right? <laughs> it is. Use a paintbrush to paint in areas too tight for rollers to reach, such as corners of the walls and where the walls meet the floor. Then use a roller to paint the rest of the wall. Ensure the substrate is properly coated so that the surface does not show through the universal undercoat. 
all done. Ha! Goodbye, yellow wall. This is amazing. And it was as easy as that. Yeah. And now we have the joys of waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> so Zoe, have you decided which colour we're going to go for? Hmm. So shall we go with the green Dusty Loden or the khaki Provincial Park? I really don't know which colour to choose. I feel like that's too much pressure. Maybe we should ask our viewers if they have a favourite one and let them decide. Why don't we paint a large square of the Durham Classic Matte in each colour on the wall and we get the viewers to decide which they like. Yes, I love that idea. Let's go do it. Durham's Classic Matte is the perfect choice for the new lounge because it's long-lasting, stain-resistant and washable. The kind of paint you'd also use on interior and exterior walls and ceilings in the living rooms, bedrooms, passages and commercial spaces. Ha! This looks pretty cool. Okay, how come your square is so neat? I'm a bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for all of your help today. I've learned so much. I cannot wait to see what Durham colour our viewers will choose. I mean, next week we are adding the furniture and really finishing off the studio. It's going to look amazing. I'm really excited and I'm really intrigued to see what colour they choose. I'm very excited. I think we need a much needed coffee now. I think we deserve it. Let's go put these brushes down. So there you have it, day <laughs> goodbye yellow wall. I can't believe this is where the old lounge used to be, wow, hey? it's amazing. But now you have the chance to help us choose the brand new colour for the lounge wall. Will it be Durham's beige provincial park or will it be the greener dusty Loden? I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm kind of gravitating towards the dusty Loden. Yeah, at first when I walked in there, I thought the provincial park yeah. should be a good one, but now I'm kind of... <laughs> Sway my way. Stick I'm not with the swaying your color. way. I'm oh just giving my, my opinion. Gosh, really? You know that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, you have 24 hours to cast your vote. So head over to Expresso's Facebook and Twitter page and cast your vote on the poll. You have the chance to uh, to have a say and, of course, help us transform this lounge into a beautiful new look. <laughs> Paint so smart, you'll style your life around it. You might even choose your dog to match your home. Durham, the paint that's made smart to look smart.